Hey guys, and today we're talking about the new Rush FPV flight system. This is the Rush Blade That's him! Stack. And that consists of three pieces. Three pieces, yes, yeah, like a three-piece suit for your quad. And the third piece, you might say, well, we all know that the first two pieces are going to be your electronic speed controller and your flight controller. But the third piece right here is this filtration system, uh, which they are calling the power filter board, the blade power filter board. It has two little integrated caps and it kind of just goes on at the bottom of the ESC and solders up. And then you have like sort of built-in caps. It's kind of like how, you remember the Emacs Magnum 2 stack that had the two little caps on there? It kind of creates a little layer that you can add to a lot of different builds, but it's specifically made for this ESC system to have those caps on board. This ESC also comes with an additional cap. I do like how both the flight controller and the ESC in this stack come with gummies and they actually come with two different size gummies you have the thicker ones like i'm running on here and you also have some thinner ones so it can really vary depending on what your build needs are in addition to that you also have this new style plastic box i just love boxes that stuff like this comes in um, you have all of your stuff inside as your cap your cables your harnesses it comes with a variety of harness options one that goes directly to the stack if you're using it in conjunction with each other or it has one that's unpinned with a connector so that you can pin it up and put it into any style flight controller you want uh, speaking of flight controllers um, like i said both the flight controller and the esc have heat sinks on the top and the bottom man so much coverage and protection i really like that you should be um, dissipating that heat which you're going to want to do because this thing can handle an awful lot of power 50 amp esc on board this and it is bl heli 32 enabled uh, for your flight control this is probably one of the best laid out flight controls i've ever seen it has connectors all around the board so if you look at the top part of the board it's totally flat uh, as is the bottom so if you wanted to mount a receiver or something like that you could do that very very easily now what are the cable connectors on here first is going to be your one going to the ERC right here at the top to the left of that is going to be your navigation stuff so if you are running navigation uh, GPS you would plug that in right there on the bottom there's three more connectors those are for your LED system your DJI HD system so it's plug and play with the DJI air unit boom no soldering involved and the last one is going to be your RX system. What? Yes, you have a plug. Now this is actually cool because it's switchable on the other side. So you can switch it to either three volts or five volts to accommodate Crossfire, FR Sky, or Spectrum. And then on the connector, you will have that power, ground, RX1, and TX1. So there is minimal soldering when using this board. It actually comes with a small plastic cover for your USB connector. Um, so a lot of times I end up getting a lot of grass and stuff in there. So this little plug goes in there and prevents you from getting grass or other annoying things in there. Uh, I mean, man, this really looks like a finished product. It's sort of next generation in design. Uh, well, we see a lot more of these. It does add a little bit of extra weight to have these heat sinks on the top and the bottom of both of these components. Um, your connectors all around probably add a little bit of weight too, but you also on the other side of the flight controller have all of your pads. So if you're not a connector type of person, um, you can direct solder up, but I mean, that's kind of half of the benefit in here. Of course, you do have an F7 processor on board. You got the MP6000 gyro on board, DJI power accommodating, but it's also perfectly great for analog as well. Now, this is really gonna be something you're gonna wanna use for DJI. This is the Blade F722 digital version. And I think that they, by making a digital version, they don't actually include like a VTX or a camera connector on these connectors. Um, so if there was an analog version, we'll probably have those instead. Um, I really like that the single connector used for the DJI system has really created a standard. So you have more of these options that are less soldering, faster to build, more and more robust. And I'm gonna actually install this filtration system as well. We're gonna take a look at this on the bench. It has a little board on there, it has two little caps that you solder on, and then boom, attaches to the ESC. Awesome stuff, guys. What do you think in the comments? Have you tried this out? I'm going to make a video building this up in the STP Gun V2 frame, get some beefy motors on there, take it for a couple of flights. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see how it performs. Um, what stack are you going into 2020-21 with? 2020-21?
Thanks, guys.